Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I just saw the most amazing thing. Uh, I just finished recording the last episode and I looked out my window and this beautiful red fox was staring at me. Uh, I do live out in the country and so it's uh, kind of rare to see a fox, but they do live out here and it was just beautiful. So uh, if I think about it, I'll edit it into the program and put the picture somewhere on the left or something uh, so you can see it but anyway it was really cool uh, in the last episode we finished connecting all the iron together here and this train is dutifully collecting all of it and taking it back to this wonderful steel um, pre-production station where it makes iron so that we can have that given into the steel here uh, so this episode is going to be devoted to making the train station to pick up the steel and then we're going to get it connected to our main base which is way over here so do we have a steel drop off yet that would be a no okay no steel yet but um looks like we do have excuse me have a spot for it we can probably put it around here uh, and then just take down this whole steel contraption over here so we have everything set up. We have the entire production chain done except for just the delivery. So it should be fairly easy to take this along. Now, steel is made very slowly. Let's see, these are in stacks of uh, 100. How much do these stack in? I wonder, 100, okay. But it takes five times as long to make 100 of these as it does uh, 100 things of steel. So I'm kind of like thinking, you know, how many cars do we want on this train? Probably we want four cars as is standard on the rest of our trains. I'm thinking that uh, could be a thing. So let's see, we have, oh wow, there's some little detritus on the edge of these here for some odd unexplained reason. But anyway, right, we have eight lanes coming out. Um, and I guess we can just do two per car to fill them up uh, with stuff. Or we could do something like over there. Where Where's the other train station that we did? Was it this one? Yeah, these are going into chests, which is probably what we want. We want a loading thing. So we can just copy these chests and those will go into the train car thingy majingy. So we'll copy this thing. So we're gonna need ish room. Mm. Let's go ahead and just put the train tracks down. That's probably gonna be the easier solution. I'm thinking we'll just have it kind of come in here uh, and corner around here. No, 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 no. Nope, that's not gonna work. It's a little bit too far. So I think what we'll do is just have it vertically here. Uh, possibly going this way and going out upward in the upward direction go this way and then just let's go shift click this here uh, and then put it close kind of like a roller coaster ride where it's like hey yeah are we gonna we're we gonna hit it or not hit it it's gonna be fine oopsies hello look here thing please please just fine Fine, I will, I will, yeah, I will concede this. Fine. Okay, uh, we do want to make this turn and then add one of our special out crossings. Rails out. There we go. Ah, uh, who? And that is not enough space. Could move it up slightly. Like here. That might give us enough room. I think it might actually can this connect there it goes okay that's perfect nice all right so that will work for us here with this out crossing um yeah we made these these are both chain signals that's fine this crossing i'm not quite happy with this whole thing let's just make this a chain signal on the edge of that and then it will clear by going past this one i think that's okay if we do it that way all right, now we want to figure out how long this station needs to be, where the stuff needs to go. So we'll go ahead and get our train stop here. So our first train car can be there. That's actually a pretty good location for this. Uh, we do want to clear out some of this vegetation here. Let's see how we can do this. Okay, so 
stuff is going to go into the boxes from the right side. Uh, and then we need to have loaders into the train. So we'll place it right here. That is going to be our current thingy majingy. Okay, that goes there. And there we go. That's fine there. And then also we will add a light. And then we'll also do this for the second train set of cars here. That looks lovely. Okay, cool. Very nice. Works for me. Oh, and I completely forgot about these things. Uh, which are actually a good thing to think about because we do need to fill up this train with some kind of fuel um, here. So let me just add those to put into the train. There we go. There's our first one. Put it here. And then the second one can be over here. Okay. Rotate this. All right, excellent. And it looks like we need a couple more boxes, maybe one or two, possibly. There's one and there's a second, good. Ah, yes, and these also, oh, those are covered. Let's see, are these guys covered as well? Nice, good planning. <clears throat> yes, <laughs> so all right, we're gonna put these guys in front of here. In fact, we probably can just add these guys like this. They will need to be at least this long. So we might as well just copy the entire arrangement and then just plop it down. Boom, more boom and another boom. Excellent. Let the nanobots get underway with this and we will just connect them. And then now we want to make, actually we'll do a corner thingy-majingy like this and add those where applicable. Let's take this one down, boom, and next to it, boom. Okay, cool. And then we'll add more of this stuff. All the fun stuff. Excellent. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. No, no, no. Okay, there we are. Lovely. Okay, so we can now add power. Power to the people, power to the inserters. Who cares about the people? Right, right. And now we need to have probably speed modules. I'll put in a couple of productivity, but speed modules for the win. Here we go, plus 10 per, uh, let's see, plus eight productivity and plus 50% crafting speed. That should be maybe enough. Uh, we can probably take these out and add more. So now we have plus 120% crafting speed. That sounds reasonable. Uh, it's very, very much not filling these things up, but it should be okay. It should be just fine, I hope. Looks like it's getting filled quite quickly. That's fine. Uh, and we are emptying this uh, little by little, which is cool. There we go. It's going off. All right. So this train station, sh uh, steel, 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 whatever. Steel is white. So we're going to make this, this is going to be steel pickup or steel we're calling it steel or steel one this is steel just steel this is the quintessential steel clearly so we'll call it steel pickup okay and we shall add our train here oh wait before we add our train we need a way for this train to get into the station uh, that would be kind of useful I don't think we need to worry too much about parking for this. I doubt we'll have any more than one steel or two steel trains at a time. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is just put in a simple, let's see, how do we want to do this? Let's just make this thing, let's go rails in, put it over here, and then just kind of copy it from here. There we go. Excuse me. Fine. All right, go on, go on. It's fine. Nanobots, fix this, please. Thank you. I'm going to go until we have almost a 90 degree curve here. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Very nice. All right, good. 
and then we'll just put a couple of signals along the line here and the trains can wait in line and that will be just fine okay cool uh we need to figure out how long this train is going to be and then put a signal at the end uh we also need to replace that power pole to a more convenient location because of coal let's get this coal line extended as well can we just do this please thank you let's go here there we go there we are nice okay so now we can add our train but we don't have enough cars. I hope we do have enough cars in the train train here. Let's see. Do we have train cars? I will be slightly annoyed if we don't. We definitely do not. Okay, we only have two. I thought I meant to get some. Let's see. Can I make two? Oh, I can make two. Yes. Okay, we're going to make some. It'll be fine. Nobody's going to mind at all. All right, train colors. You go to that one, please. And we're going to add our nice train cars here boom and train engine let's copy this to that also we'll fill up fill all thank you copy paste 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 and boom life is now boom right now then we're going to add signals here i think that's past the nose i hope let's see so five is one two three four One, two, three, four, five. So this should be past, you would think, you would hope. And then here we need to go a little bit further, like there, possibly. Yeah, should be fine. Yeah, and that should be also perfect. So we can have um, one, two, three trains in addition to one at the station. Okay, and I think that's looking pretty darn good. Now then, we need to set you a schedule, please, train, to go from steel pickup and then inventory full. Okay, cool, go. Okay, so this is in automatic mode now. So the thing is, we probably should take our train back, um, but we have a slight issue here because I don't have anywhere to turn it around at the moment. This is not ideal. You know what we could do though? We should probably put in all of those things. Let's, let's take all of this out, put these all in here, put in a lot of other stuff too while we're there. And then we can have a couple of these in. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so we're gonna go backward and see if we can find some kind of a landing spot a turnaround spot either that or we'll just bash one in you know that was interesting how fast are we going we're still accelerating backwards it's fine really not a worry at all last user was me still me train ID 11 that's interesting I wonder if it goes from zero or if I actually picked up and removed that many trains. It seems like a lot. Okay, we're going to turn around here and we'll just shove this other one out of the way. Yeah, because the next one is also full. Okay, that's cool. We can just go here to the right. There we go. Okay, go to next thing, Imagingy. Petrol one, please. Sorry, train, we're just shoving you out the way. That'll be fine. There we go. Now we're on the right track. Okay. So now we're going to the main base where we can um, put in a station for seal because that's what we need is the receiving end. We've built the uh, the production, and now it's time to go to the receiving. Man, this is slow. Oh, it's running off of wood, that's why. Dear me. Probably shouldn't run this off of wood. 
I probably should just grab the coal from the back and shove it in. Or give it some solid fuel or something. Here, go this way, please. Thank you. And we'll shove you to the left. And that second thingy-majingy. And park. There we go. Actually, I probably should go the other way. Let's go straight back. And... I think we're just going to go straight along so we're parked closer to the mall. There we go. That's better. Yeah, let's park in this parking lot over here. I kind of saw it a little bit late. I'm like, oh darn, I need to be a little bit closer to the mall to put stuff in more easily. Okay, there we are. Going here and... Breaking force. Go. Alright, nice. Now then, oh, I should grab some stuff from the, the end carriage here so I don't completely forget it. And just take it out. Garbage retrieval systems and all. Put that over. Wow, we have no blue chips? Whoa, that is interesting. That's quite surprising. Kind of scary. Very scary. Uh, we need another chest. There we go. Now then, um, in fact, I will take out the coal and put in the coal into our, our building train so it goes a little bit faster. A uh, higher acceleration rate really is what we're looking for, not so much the speed. But if it has a little bit more pick up and go, we will be happy with this. Go down here, plop it in here. Good, good, good. Now then, what is up with the blue chips? Right, coal, oil, sulfur. I've completely forgotten where anything is. There's the blue chips. Okay, so this is steel happening there. That's fine. Blue chips, what's going on with you? You're short on green chips, I see. Okay. That would be a slight problem. Why are we short on green chips? Because no copper. I think we're going to have to deal with copper. In fact, I had an idea for copper. Did I mention this last time? I can't remember. I was going to feed copper ore into this guy and have it feed it directly into here instead of uh, having a train bring it. I thought that might be a fun thing to do. Uh, if we're able to supply it, but let's look at, do we have copper? There's copper here, 59 million. Yeah, we could probably swing this. Oh, new copper outpost. Yeah, it's already reserved for stuff. We can get some of these miscellaneous deposits though. 76 over here, billion and a half over here, 60 million there. And just transport it to this smelter. We could even have the the ore feeding station over here and then it could go under the tracks and then go here and then just shove along uh, in that way. That would work. I think that might actually be a really good idea to do that. How much do we have here? 15 million left in this deposit. 1.4 there. 6.2 there. This is not being used. Is this doing okay? Yeah, it's just slow. It's just very, very slow. Uh, but that would definitely help us having more of these factories working. Okay, so back to <laughs> back to actually what we need to do. Um, I think we need some chests to for stuff. I really should not replop that blueprint because it messes up every single chest assignment I have, which is quite annoying. Okay, there we go. Let's go and get some containers there, some cargo um wagons and we probably could use a few more engines too there we go that sounds okay um and do i need mm, yeah i need belts okay there we go that's a few belts it's fine it's several okay so the idea with this stuff is that mm, Oh god, that's really horrible. I knew I was going to have issues. I had this feeling that I would have an issue because I had too many things in my inventory. And I was not wrong. Let's go pick the stuff up so it doesn't like totally mess life up here. This is actually still getting used. I'm quite surprised by this. Whatever we're doing is requiring still steel still. Well then... <laughs> My words are not working very well today. Uh, okay, so what I want to do with this is... 
we want to copy an entire one of these stations that has the two outputs. And I think the red might be a good choice for this, uh, the red circuit one. So we're going to have to just grab this whole thingy, majingy. There we go. And hopefully not grab too much of the other one. That's fine. Let's get rid of this, get rid of that. And I think we're actually good to go with this. That sounds okay. So we'll take this and plop it down over here. Yeah, leave one bit of space there. And then this is going to be a chain signal, I think. There we go. But yeah, it's good to get some of these things. Oof, Oof I think is the word for this. Oi. Um, yes, this needs to be edited as well. There we go. Hello, you. Okay, good. Um, and this one is in a bad spot there. But it'll be fine there. Okay, cool. So these guys are a little bit close together. Uh, you can see that they're all one block, this, this cyan blue block here, which is not ideal, but it's okay. We'll get there, hopefully. We need to adjust this these inserters they're not actually linked to the combinator which is very silly of me i don't know why i just copy pasted it maybe we didn't have combinators i have no idea this is very odd um but we also need to get instead of the filter inserters we want to get stack filter inserters and i probably should do that for this area over there as well so that they can unload at a good nice clip or pace Oh, wow, we have several now. Excellent. Okay, put all the logs fit to print in there. And we will grab the stack inserters, stack filter inserters, I should say. All right, these go this way. And of course, these get regular stack inserters on the line. I should put lights or something in the middle here so that it's easier to build. Okay, and then these also have the same issues. Uh, greens are actually much more important to have stack filter inserters on. The others are usually much slower to be implemented. There we go. And again, they're not using the constant combinator. Oh dear. <sighs> It's fine. I'm not sure why we skipped that part of it. Maybe it was just easier or something. I don't know. Are these all connected? They don't really look like they're all connected, do they? Well, they're not. They're actually not connected. I thought these lines, they're actually electrical lines. They're not... Um, These shall be set to set filters, please. Okay, and then the filter will be here. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's look. Uh, I've completely forgotten. Oh, steel. That's what we need to have. All right, so steel's coming out here. Let's change these over to the stack filters. And then the regular stacks on the other side. Good. Okay, cool. So this is going to be our steel station. I'm going to call it base steel drop off. And of course the color must be white. And there we are. All right. Uh, we know that the steel train gets fuel from the steel station. So this is not any issue at all. So we're just going to skip this. Um, see how do we want to do this bit gotta get rid of these belts for one thing we could go here on this side actually yeah maybe that's a better option here instead of cluttering all the stuff to the left just in case we want it need it for anything else we can also move these later uh, around if we want to I think we can do something like this as well. There 
Here we are. Mm -hmm. And this is looking terrible here. Let's get rid of these power poles and change them to something more manageable. There we go. There it is. Okay, cool. And then later we can burn those power poles if we should desire to do so. Because yes, you can burn wooden power poles. It's a bit of a waste of copper, but if you're not going to use them for anything else, I suppose that's a useful way to dispose of them. All right, now we now have steel connected. This is good. Um, we just need to connect it to the main base here. And this is done. This is very, very done. Um, I think what I want to do here is we will allow this to empty out. Okay. Let's just make sure that we connect these guys up properly. This can also go away. All this stuff. Oh, and someone mentioned that I did not connect this. Okay, we'll, we'll look at that in a second. That I didn't connect that. So we will look at that as well. So this thing... Wow, okay. That was not ideal. Um... Okay. Can't pick up that little undergroundy hat, unfortunately. Now we can get it. Okay, good. Now then, we're going to have this and we're just going to prioritize left. No, right. Uh, this one. Yep, there we are. So that we can empty out this uh, smelter eventually and be done with that. Otherwise, steel is looking good. We just need to add electricity and it'll be fine. Ouch. Okay, there we go. Nice. That is one higher. There we go. Much better. Okay. We have the steel connected. Oh, yes. Let's check on that iron ore before we get too lost. In fact, you know what? Let's look at trains first. We need to go and get our steel thingy-majingy. Should be under steel pickup. There we go. Go to base. Steel drop off. Yes. All right. And inventory empty. And go. And you can't get there. Okay. Uh, I forgot one thing. Yes. So this is... <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for reminding me of this. This is kind of silly. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So that should go... Uh, we also need to look at the feeding of this. I think we don't need this entire structure here. I think this should be fine. of this as well. And this can just be that. Okay, cool. And that is that. Okay, and I have way too much of this crap in my inventory. Okay. So then, we're just going to use these guys go like that. Okay, so this is just going to be for feeding. I think it's concrete production that needs this. Uh, nothing important though. Let's go ahead and shove some of these things in here as much as possible. And this later is going to become a storage chest so it can pull stuff out of the world uh, and then reuse it later once we get recycling set up. So this thing did not get connected, of course. Uh, so we need to do that. That's quite important. Okay, cool. So let's check on that train again. Actually, I feel like this is... We should copy this. Make it more cohesive. There we go. This. That's better. It's a little bit more sleek. Not really necessary, but... In fact, I don't think this one matches either. This one is a shorter one and this one is longer. Well, it'll be fine. No worries. All right, steel thing. Where are you? Steel train. Yo. 
There we go. Nope, that's not you. Sorry, mistaken identity. It'll be fine. We need to go to the one which has base, which is at the top since I just changed things. BC, iron, RC, steel pickup. Hey, there we go. There's our train. Yo, hey, you're doing well. All right, so steel train should be here very shortly to drop off some nice stuff for us. We should be able to see it on the map. There it is. There's our steel train. It's a coming along. Check it out. Going very fast here. So fast, I can't even tell. But there's other trains stopping. Okay, here it comes. Yay! Nice. And remember not to wait on the tracks. Oh, do I actually need the... I don't need the end locomotive either. Uh, let's go to manual mode. Take it off. We really do not need this. Oh, I seem to have uh, completely lost my iron pickaxe. Okay, so... Or steel pickaxe, I should say. It's a steel axe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, very nice. We did it. Now then. Alright, let's go and drop off some of this coal in the right place. Now we have this going. We now have... Is that almost everything we need to make stuff? For science? Can we actually make science now? Oh my god, it's been such a long time coming. I know there's been people like, hey, you should make beacons. And it's like, I don't have the science yet. Hold on. Um, because we don't. We don't actually have the science yet. Uh, we need purple science and we need gold science. Let's see if we have everything that we need to make those. I don't think we have batteries. Do we have batteries? We should look. Oh, here comes the steel. Yay! Woohoo! Life is better. Life is clearly better. I will um, actually... Let's Let's combine this here because there is a takeoff line there. So we might as well. And another one here. So we'll add this one to there. And this should actually be output priority to the right. So let's copy paste. A couple of people have reminded me. Oh yeah, you can copy paste. Yeah, I know that. I, I just um, sometimes I forget. A lot of times I forget, in fact. <laughs> yes. Well, it happens, you know. You get to a certain point in Factorio and your brain forgets completely. So it's really not that much of a big deal. Cool. So we have stuff now. Now we need, what else do we need for science? We need batteries. We have our blue chips, I think. Now, did we decide to make batteries elsewhere? Or are we going to bring the sulfuric acid in here? This is what I don't know yet. I'm kind of worried about making it elsewhere, considering our supplies of copper and iron. Um, that does worry me quite a bit. Let's see where we can make stuff. So we have um, sulfuric acid coming here. Pickup. SF. Oh, no, that's solid fuel, not sulfuric acid. Never mind. Um, we had it by blue circuits, maybe. Yeah, sulfuric acid drop off. Uh, sulfur crystal drop off. Okay, so this is where sulfuric acid is made here. Now somebody mentioned that I could use the the assemblers as chem plants, or was that as uh, centrifuges? I can't remember. I think you can use both anyway. We don't have the big crafts here. That's unusual. I think maybe only when you open the machine itself. All right, but in any case, we could make the batteries somewhere if we chose an assembler, uh, one of these cyan ones, I think, not the uh, furnace ones. But I think maybe we need to make our batteries elsewhere. Um, and maybe we should get this smelter working for us for copper so that one smelter doesn't have to supply the entire world. Um, and that would give us better priorities also on our green circuits here. So anyway, there is still tons and tons and tons to do. Let's update our to-do list. Make mini loaders in the base. We've done that. Add steel smelting outpost. Woohoo, we did that. All right, let's add um, batteries. Uh, save. New out thingy Uh Base copper uh, furnace assembly. No. That, that's we'll understand what this means we don't have to worry about that too much and that's it hmm 
All right. Looks good. I think we're making really good progress. Thank you everyone for watching. I am really excited that you were ex so excited about this series. It's been a really nice train journey. Look how far we are with our trains. This is quite a big map here. Um, and I'm really excited to kind of push forward and see how far we can get. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.